So now that we've finished all the electronic uh, components and we're happy with them so that they can be moved around as we like, <clears throat> it's a good idea just to plan out a little bit what you're likely to do. Now, with tutorials uh, you might have seen like Solder Buddy, there was obviously a considerable amount of effort gone into really planning meticulously where you're going to go so you don't make any sort of mistakes. Um, however, with something which is going to be a lot more based on its feel and the interaction with yourself or indeed another user, you're really going to just want to use sketches as a guide. So basically all I've really tried to sort of set out is that I want this sort of dome shape which, you know, given that I've obviously done this once already, I'm aware that that's the sort of thing I'd probably like. So this is really just for demonstration purposes. But one thing I found was that I, I quite liked it uh, around where my thumb was, con concave, so that I could scroll. And then convex, bowing outwards, where my fingers were going to click. So ultimately, I'm looking at something to grab the mouse in this sort of orientation. And uh, I think I kind of wanted to switch it on and off from here. And if I did want to toggle the dots per inch button, it's a pretty rare maneuver, so it'd be in quite a far reach so that I didn't accidentally knock it. For example, I wouldn't put it down there where my thumb might knock into it on a downstroke when I'm scrolling. So basically, I also mocked up, uh, this. I think this is quite a nice demonstration of how a, a, an honest thought process looks like, in that I've just used a load of white tack, same as blue tack to basically put all the components in a rough shape so that I've got an idea that I'm going to scroll up and down like that and just little things like I think I would rather switch it on pushing away than pulling towards me that's just my preference and again the sort of DPI button being in that sort of position I might put that forwards backwards I'll see how it goes when I actually have the model it's pretty intuitive that I'm probably not going to switch around the, the, the click function of a mouse so that I'm going to use this as the main select and that as the right click as for, for menu options. So again, basically have an idea of what sort of, uh, sort of form you maybe want things to take, but really let it be dictated by the function of where your hand uh, sits within the foam. So again, I'm going to go away and make a start on... Uh, cutting the blue foam into something that feels good for me. Um, if you've never worked with foam before, um, there'll be a few side tutorials on how to uh, work with it effectively. And I'll also include a few little tips, like uh, how to use old saw blades to sort of cut through the foam and give you good profiles if you don't have something like a zona saw like this. So I hope that's useful, and see you soon.